I'm gonna show you how to make vanilla almond cups. So these are just a different version of like a healthy peanut butter cup. However, our daughter has peanut allergy, so instead we use a vanilla almond, um, which I actually really like this because I can skip the honey part because the vanilla almond is actually really sweet. So these are already from the freezer. They are ready to be pulled out and packaged away. Now you can store, depending how many batches you're doing, you can store a batch in the fridge or in the freezer. Either is fine depending how, how quickly you might go through them. So I have my other tin here and I already have my mixture melted. So you just wanna put three ingredients, that's it, that's all you need on the stove top, maybe on, you know, three or four, just low to medium heat. And all you're gonna do is take one tablespoon, a full tablespoon, and this should make 24 cups. So while I'm pouring the cups, I will kind of tell you the quick little recipe. You're going to use, I use a food scale, mine's tucked away, but I like a food scale because you can you know, press tear and it zeroes out. So you can just weigh everything versus measuring and getting a ton of utensils dirty. So you're going to do 165 grams of coconut oil. You're going to do 128 grams of your vanilla almond butter. And then you're going to do, here's where I used a cup, one quarter cup of, I like to use special dark, the 100% special dark cocoa. I just really like that, the health benefits of it and then just that rich dark taste. And surprisingly, even though it's vanilla almond butter, there's something about it that you kind of get that saltiness to it. So it's a, like a sweet and salty cup. So, so far so good. My math is looking like it'll work out. I just love that you can have a healthy treat. So the cool part about these is each cup is only 90 calories. So if you have a sweet tooth, this is going to be one to pull out of your fridge or if you like to keep them in the freezer so you don't sneak them too much. And look at that. Perfect. All the cups are full and so I will place this in the fridge or freezer just depending on your time frame or where you have space. Obviously a fridge will take longer. So again, I just use an organic coconut oil. This is 165 grams. I like to just use Justin's vanilla almond. This is 128 grams weight. And then in a separate container, I just have my 100% special dark cocoa. And that is it. Put it all in one container, keep continually stirring on the stove and you have a super healthy replacement treat for yourself. So I hope you enjoyed that. Um, Maybe I'll come on and do one with a peanut butter eventually too, but I just love that it's three simple ingredients and you're set to go. So thanks for watching. Check you later.